Melissa Payne, the owner of Express Brows. And today I'm going to show you how I do my makeup when I'm fooling around colors I like to use or maybe colors I just want to explore. And then I am going to show you how I fill in my brows when they're not groomed. So I hope you enjoy. I'm a Guyanese glamaholic and look out every Thursday you're gonna see tips from different Guyanese glamaholics hi guys well I'm doing my brows as you may have noticed and I'm just kind of cleaning it up already I am using the TimeWise Mary Kay TimeWise liquid foundation and this is not a concealer it's a foundation with medium coverage and it's the beige number five you're supposed to go two shades lighter but I like a very bright highlight so I go in like uh, five to six shades maybe ten shades in this case lighter than my um, natural uh, color And I have a very, very unfinished brows. I have like a whole bunch of straight hairs. So I am just going in and trying to hide the strays that I have. So this is what I am doing. And sometimes I do get a little messy because I put extra um, foundation. But that's all really blended in when I put my um, natural color. Then I use this Color Mate Brown Powder, the dark, it's dark and medium, but I use the dark part to fill my brows in. And I, my favorite, favorite brow tool, and it's done. <laughs> my brow gel, I got Art More online. It's the, I don't use the pencil, it's the Revlon um, Brow fan, Fantasy, sorry. So, yeah, Revlon has a really good product there. It makes the brow hairs. It highlights the brow hairs, so it, it gives it a more natural appearance. With my spoolie, I think the spoolie is from LA Girls. I'm not sure because again, I use it so much, it has no um, writing on it. Before I blend it all in and go with my um, contour and stuff, I am just going to take my finger and neaten around my brow. And you can do this with your beauty blender, you can do it with the brush, but I just like to use my fingers on myself. I do not use my fingers on my gun. So I think I'm gonna do a deep crease, um, a semi deep crease, because I don't know how deep I want to go just yet and I don't know how dramatic but yeah, yeah, yeah so I'm using my motives black this is an awesome black it's highly pigmented and I'm going to be using my Sasha palette as you can see my palette is overused I've had it for years now but that's what I love about um, Sasha and just for fun I brought out my moon dust by Urban Decay not sure if I'm going to use any of the colors from this, but let's see what happens later on. Yeah, so you can, if you, if you're, if you don't have enough eye space or your eye area between the brow and the eyelid is a little smaller than mine, you can tilt your head back a little bit and you find your crease right here. I'm gonna take this up to the point of the brow. Just now the color I wanna go in with to blend all this black in. I purple right here. That might look nice. And you just use a little bit. And I do not use primers um, when I'm doing my crease area. In fact, I think I'm just gonna go in with the foundation I use to make this a little more defined instead of using the um, the primer, the eyeshadow primer that is. 
because this foundation by Mary Kay it it's not um it don't crack it don't crease it's not heavy it's very light it's a water-based foundation so I like it because I have combination skin type that treats my skin very very good it's breathable um, and I do get medium coverage I hardly use full coverage foundations because I find that the and this is just my experience I think I have a sensitive reaction that's another thing maybe when we're talking about skin we could probably go in depth because I know a lot of people say they have sensitive skin and sensitive is not a skin type it's a condition so I do have I have combination skin type with a sensitive condition there you have it the purple is all up in there and you want to blend in the line that you created earlier I'm just gonna go up a little bit past the crease up onto the brow bone just a little bit so I'm gonna keep blending and you gotta blend this so that it's blended properly and there's no line you don't see the the line you want everything to look you want to see the black but you just want to see it as a shade and not a defined um, line all right so now for my highlight before I do the eyelid I'm gonna do the highlight and I'm going to use my urban decay this is a uh, midnight cowgirl mid so I'm gonna use my midnight cowgirl maybe going out into the town tonight you know <laughs> And this is also highly pigmented and just gonna put a little bit under you want to put it under your brow bone under your brow what am I saying on your brow bone under your brow and then you blend it in blending should be your best friend when doing makeup everything should be blended and in with my beige number no. five from Mary Kay, the same foundation I used to contour my um, brows or highlight my brows, and I am going to just put it on my eyelid to create the crease that I want to be crease. And you could go as wide as you want to go, as far out as you want to go with this. You can get creative really and do your own thing, you know, make it the way you want it. Yeah, you can follow the steps but don't be a boring cow girl <laughs> get innovative with it you know you could add glitter in your crease if you want to there's so many things that you want to do you could leave a space with this um foundation create a double crease if you want to Don't be afraid of taking time like take as much time as you want because you want it to be neat and you want to have like the deep crease creates this Egyptian uh, kind of eyeshadow so you want to have enough to play with when you're doing a deep crease it could go as high as you want you could make it very narrow it all depends on what you're trying to achieve when you're doing it So now I'm using this a uh, pink. I'm not a pink lady. Actually, I do like pink. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I'm using this very bright pink. That I, oh my God, this is bright. And I'm gonna leave a little space in my crease between. Everybody likes a little bling.
This is my wet lino. It's an elf wet lino, yellow, and it's black. And this is the one that I'm gonna be using to do my wing. I'd like to start halfway of the eye and just kind of wing it up and then come in and fill the rest because this kind of creates the angle I want to take it in and there we go so I actually like to start my wing from halfway of my eye so I kind of maybe from the middle So this is my wet and wild navy blue pencil. Let me see if it got a name for y'all. Shimmer eye pencil. That's all. So, all right. I'm gonna put this one under my eye. Now this mascara is from Mary Kay, my Mary Kay mascara and it's the ultimate mascara and I'm just gonna pull my lashes out with it I'm not a big fan of extensions unless I have like something really uh, big to do and And I don't know why people open their mouths when they're doing their eyeliner and mascara and I don't know, maybe it's a habit, not a habit I have and I am grateful because you look kind of mongolish when you you know, trying to get it on and the water. Not like I'm calling any of you mongols, I'm just saying it looks kind of funny when you try to, you know, everybody's like, <laughs> what's up with that? You just wanna like you know relax your face and get those hairs at the bottom and those hairs at the top so there's no kind of thing. Alright. And this is how my eyes look. So I am back with my homemade primer, milk of magnesia, and my little brush. And I am um, Distributing this evenly on my face. And a friend told me about this being used as a primer a long time ago, but I never tried it. And it keeps you dry throughout the day and blah blah blah. And she gave me you know all the info that was needed. And so I was a little bit reluctant because I didn't know how my skin would react to it and after desperate searches of primers that did not control the oils on my skin I decided to give it a try and yeah I did not have a breakout so I decided to just give it a try and it worked really really good and my face looked flawless on my wedding day like all day and that's the kind of look that i wanted i wanted to be able to mingle and have fun and not have to excuse myself every five minutes to powder my nose because i'm combination skin as i mentioned earlier and i really get oily in my t-zone area for those of you who don't know that's here here in my forehead so everywhere else is not and normal except those places and then sometimes the oils do travel to the rest of my face and it becomes a disaster. I mean I love my oils because what people with oily skin aren't aware of is that it, you take longer to age because the skin is always moisturized. So your chances of being wrinkled are you know are rare or not rare, it just takes a longer time before you, you get those um Age, age definitions like wrinkles and stuff so then you wait like about 20 seconds for this to dry depending on the temperature or you take a fan or you sit in front of a fan or you just take something and fan yourself and make sure that it's dried 
so this has dried and I'm gonna do a little bit of a contour okay I like to see my hurry up contour style and I am using black opal's true color for perfecting liquid foundation and I am just gonna put that under or where my jawline is and a little bit in my hairline so bronze number seven which is one shade one shade lighter than me this is the bronze number seven I'm gonna change my brush because I'm gonna take this to do my highlights I normally love my beauty blender when I'm doing this but that's what guys I don't have it today so well this is your contour and this is my highlight color so this makes this area a little brighter and it also like when you contour under the eyes it's like for with high definition makeup it's like for TV for runway and I am a model and a lot of times I'm well I'm constantly doing interviews or always on the runway or in a photo shoot so it hides or camouflages whatever um, circles or you know impurities you might have like under the eyes and stuff so it gives you a nice glow and then I'm going to just my forehead is already big but you know pretty girls have thick foreheads so yes that's true I'm saying it because I'm pretty so smoosh you yes and you wanna make sure it's nice and even and it connects guys connects with your hairline you don't want your contour to be like vine like how it is right now I'm gonna show you guys when I blend how it goes my nose is already very pointy so I'm not sure if to do my nose but I'm just gonna do a little bit on my under bridge to bring it up I don't like contouring my nose but I'm gonna do it anyway not gonna do my chin because my chin is already defined but you can go ahead if you want your chin to be a little more defined and just put it in this area you can also put the lighter color here to lift your jawbone or you can put the darker color here to narrow it in well I have this pointy face already so I'm not gonna put light or dark because I kind of like the sharpness of my natural features and this is my color it's the bronze number eight Mary Kay time wise liquid foundation and it's the matte foundation and I'm going to just go in and fill in the empty Faces with this don't be afraid to go under and go chin and go neck because those are parts of your face as well and for my contour I'm using Arista this is the darkest shade, don't ask me what the name is, I don't remember. Blending brush, I'm just gonna blend this here, in this area. Once that is blended, I am going to use the Sasha setting powder, not the buttercup, it's white. And I am just going to put this where my highlights are I'm going to leave this to bake a little bit not very long well baking it the powder sets a little better and so everything is just set and it gives you a smooth and a really good um, it enhances your highlights or your contour so to speak it was only introduced to the world in 2015 but it, it's a good method to have your makeup um, set so you leave it for a little bit and it really gets into the um, 
I don't want to say it gets into the pores, but it gets right down to the foundation. So it's set. And then I'm going to just take this, my blending brush, and I am going to blend it out. Now, now I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match um, powder. And I like this powder because it's really, 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 really a true blend. It works with any foundation and it gets on the skin very nicely. Now I just like to use my sponge and I don't use a brush with my finishing powder because I think the sponge gets what I am trying to do and it really covers every inch and I go behind my ears and down my neck with my finishing powder. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in with my blush. And I like the LA Girls Glam palette. It is very nice, highly pigmented, you know. And I go in with the darker pink or the brighter pink, if you wanna call it that, on the end. I'm gonna take it on the cheekbone from the middle back to the hairline. And I'm not too loud with my blush. I'm never too loud with it. I need to get that way. And everything looks so girly today. It's a girly pink day. Yay me. And then I am going to go with the glow, which is the end here. And I'm going to put this above my color. So it's going to lift my cheekbone a little more and just give it that glowy effect and this is the right glow for me because I am not a fan of the gold the gold shimmer or the gold glow this has like a nice undertone kind of like my highlight so this is Revlon Ultra HD matte color and it's in the form of a lip gloss but it goes on very matte and it stays really really nice and it's still soft and that's what I like about it if you notice the brands that I've worked with most is L'Oreal, Revlon and Mary Kay those are my favorite brands to do makeup and I love my Caribbean brand as well Sasha so I'm going to go I'm going to go apply this now so you see how it goes on and sometimes I put a moisturizer on but with the, when I wear matte lipsticks but with this you don't need a moisturizer because it's very moist and you get to rub your lips together and all that stuff with it so and I'm done but before I do my wear and show off my look and all of that I am going to finish stuff with the Sasha fix it spray the makeup and I've tried other fix it sprays before but I love this one it sets the makeup really nicely so I started using water with it diluting it and it became much better the makeup still set the same way I could cry on my makeup I am a dancer and so I could dance without breaking a sweat with this fix it spray and as before I learned of the milk of magnesia so sometimes what I do I do not use the fix it I just go but when I have shows and stuff and I need a stronger fix I go in with this so you hold this away from your face like about uh, 12 inches and then you spray voila and that's it it does have a scent hence the reason I use I said perfumed. I don't. So you let it set. You can always go back in with your brush and kind of pat it down, or you can go back with your beauty blender or your sponge or whatever it is that you use to apply your makeup, and you could pat it. You know, make sure that it gets into your skin. And when you're done, you're done. I look like a um, <laughs> just hard to hold up. <laughs> All I can do is turn my brows into eyes and I got a mask on. That would be awesome.
So I also use the uh, foundation. Oh, Sky, it's a two yards. Something wrong with two yards. Like, y'all like Bin Laden and Saddam talking about the war. Oh, y'all don't. <laughs> if they got a torn off switch, nothing. Just yap, yap, yap. And it's the same to. <laughs> the same to yapping, yapping, yapping. My God. Oh. Anyways. Uh